President Donald Trump continues dealing with controversy surrounding his national security advisor. And tonight, a response from the White House. CBS4 anchor Rick Fulbaum is here with details. Rick? Elliot, the White House saying the president is, quote, evaluating the situation regarding Michael Flynn. Flynn is under fire for talking sanctions with the Russian ambassador before Trump took office, which is against the law. Vice President Mike Pence then went on TV and said that the two had not discussed sanctions when, in fact, they had. Flynn has since apologized to the vice president for misleading him. But this controversy coming as the president welcomed another foreign leader to Washington. President Trump welcomed Canada's prime minister, Justin Trudeau, to the White House Monday, their first face-to-face -face meeting. America is deeply fortunate to have a neighbor like Canada. Relationships between neighbors are pretty complex, and we won't always agree on everything. The two are opposites in many ways. Prime Minister Trudeau is a liberal whose country has taken in 40,000 Syrian refugees, while the president works to restore his travel ban. We cannot let the wrong people in, and I will not allow that to happen during this administration. The last thing Canadians expect uh, is uh, for me to come down and uh, lecture another country on how they choose to govern themselves. The two world leaders covering a lot of ground, but trade talks dominated the conversation. President Trump has promised to renegotiate NAFTA, the trade agreement between the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. We'll be tweaking it. We'll be doing certain things that are going to benefit both of our countries. Uh, it's a much less severe situation than what's taken place on the southern border. Millions of good, middle-class jobs on both sides of the border depend on this crucial partnership. In 2015, Canada and the U.S. exchanged $575 billion worth of goods with each other. Again, news tonight from the White House. The president is evaluating the situation regarding National Security Advisor Michael Flynn and his dealings with the Russian ambassador. Meantime, expect another South Florida visit from the president this coming weekend. It appears he'll be at Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach Friday through Monday. Elliot.